When we remove dangerous dams, we make communities safer. During Hurricane Helene, 41 high hazard dams like the one behind me here failed or were severely damaged. And hundreds of outdated derelict dams need to be removed so that communities are safe when the next storm comes. These obsolete dams are not built to withstand the intensity of today's storms. But when removed, we can save lives and critical infrastructure. In 2021, the General Assembly in North Carolina invested $7.2 million that paid for the removal of seven dams, including the Shoals Mill Dam removal near Boone, North Carolina, that protected critical road infrastructure. With that dam in place during the flood, you would have seen a lot more potential for a catastrophic failure where the whole dam was pushed over by the flood and a flood wave goes downstream. And you know, you've got Highway 105 right here and a bridge downstream. Having that additional flood wave from a failing dam is something that could have been catastrophic. And the Wards Mill Dam removal just downstream of Shoals saved lives. We're right upstream from Ward's Mill here on the Watauga River. On the day that the flood crested during Hurricane Helene, if that dam had still been there, the mill would have been gone, the house would have been gone, multiple houses upstream would have been inundated, and I don't believe that the dam would have been able to hold back the force of the water, and I think that we would have had some real problems downstream when the dam finally cut loose. We can remove these dams before they fail. We now have an opportunity to leverage federal matching dollars so we can save lives, protect treasured habitat, create good jobs, and protect our communities.